If you are someone who suffers from repeated sinus infections, you may be a candidate for a new in-office technique called balloon sinoplasty. Initially, balloon sinoplasty was performed only in the operating room, requiring general anesthesia and a more lengthy recovery period. We have now pioneered this technology so that they can be performed in the office with minimal recovery. Dr. Pasha was the first in Houston to develop this technique and is now nationally recognized for his expertise in balloon sinoplasty. He has several research protocols for balloon sinoplasty and has authored several publications on the technique and indications. He often lectures at various institutions, panels, and discussions to his peers in this technique. He also has special interests in corticosteroid eluding sinus implants for severe sinusitis. But before we look into the actual procedure, let's examine what sinusitis is. Sinusitis is defined as an inflammation of the inner lining of the air-filled spaces in the cheeks, forehead, roof, and the back of the nose. This inflammation may be from a blockage of the sinus opening of the sinus, or it may be from an infection from bacteria, a virus, or a fungus. The pressure from the blocked sinus and the irritation of the inflamed sinus causes facial pain and pressure and headaches. In-office balloon sinoplasty may be for you if you have recurrent sinus infections that do not go away despite being treated with medicines. Balloon sinoplasty is a catheter-based system in which a small flexible balloon wire is placed into the opening of the sinus and then blown up to widen up the natural openings of the sinuses. The total time for this procedure may take from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the complexity. This procedure is typically highly tolerated and routine. It is one of the safest procedures performed on the sinuses. The most common potential risk is a future conversion to the operating room if the procedure fails to reduce your symptoms. Immediately after the procedure, you may have some mild bleeding that typically resolves within an hour. Significant pain and discomfort is rare. You should not have to take time off from work or school the following day. This typically addresses symptoms of pressure, recurrent sinus problems, facial pain, and even congestion. We have also utilized balloon sinoplasty for a select group of patients who have had lifelong headaches with instant results. For those of you who also have constant nasal congestion, nasal blockage, or snore, Dr. Pasha may also suggest undergoing another procedure that addresses the most common source of nasal obstruction, the turbinates. The turbinates are fleshy shelves located in the inside of your nose. There are three on each side. However, the lower turbinate is the largest and primary cause of nasal obstruction. Turbinates become enlarged or congested normally for several reasons, such as change of weather, change in posture, food, exercise, and stress. Other common causes for severe congestion are allergies, colds, and other irritants like smoke. If the turbinate becomes persistently enlarged, you may feel constantly congested and obstructed. This may lead to mouth breathing and snoring. For select patients, while you are being prepped to undergo balloon sinoplasty, Dr. Pasha may suggest a quick five-minute procedure called radio frequency ablation of the turbinates. Radio frequency occurs by shaking up the microscopic cells, causing the fleshy portion of the turbinate to dry and scar. After a few weeks, the outside layer of the turbinate will begin to crust, shed, and reduce in size. This allows you to breathe better through your nose and it also dries out the lining of the turbinate. The procedure causes little pain and does not add to your recovery. As you recover, you will need to keep your nose moist with nasal salt water sprays for three weeks. During your recovery, your turbinate may slightly swell and become dry and crusty. After two to three weeks, your turbinate will shed, revealing a smaller turbinate. We hope that you have a better understanding of an in-office balloon sinoplasty, and we look forward to helping you breathe freely both day and night. For more information or to schedule an appointment, please visit PashaMD.com or call us at 713-523-8800.